good evening. Hello, how are you? Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. Huh? What about you, mister? I'm good. Very good. That's excellent. So tell me, how was your day? I mean, it was so funny. Good. Interesting. It was fun. It was fun. Okay. You have to say, it was fun. Okay, thank you. Tell me, why was it fun? Um, uh, I am learning many things. Like? Uh, another system and another activities of my job. Oh, that's interesting. And I like it. That's even better. Yeah. It's better for me. Yeah, I know, I know, I understand. That's good, that's good. Are you ready with the homework? Yeah, I'm ready. That's cool, that's cool. Thank you, Adonai. Francisco, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Oh, I'm very well, teacher. That's excellent. So tell me, how was your day? Mm, very stressful. Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, this um, Yesterday, I had a problem with my connection. Um, for this case, I to, uh, have a problem. No problem, no problem. I understand that. Don't worry about it. Yes, teacher. Thank you. No problem. Well, thank you, Francisco. Look, there's Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, Silvia, how was your day? How are you today? Um, I am. I was. I was. I was very um, more relaxed. My day was. My day was. Um, Relax. Oh, really? Relax. Really, that's good to hear. So you are like calm right now. <laughs> yes. You are you are not that tired. Um, not that more much. Product, more products, more products. But uh, see, quiet, but quiet. Okay, uh, that's good. That's good. It's good to know that you had a nice day. That's great yes. because that way you are like better yet for the class. Mm -hmm. Can be more concentrated. Excellent. That's great. Thank yes. you, Sylvia. Vanessa, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Um I was great. I am. I am great. Oh, good. Excellent. How was your day? I was uh, um, I was. I am. Um, um, great. I was hard. It was. But fine. It was. It was. It was fine. Okay. Hard, but fine. Okay. You have many activities today to do. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me some? Um. Check the email. Uh, read the um, letters, okay. uh, write, 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 letter, um, uh, how do you say, revisar? Check. Check, check the reports. Check reports. Check reports. Listen, um, listen, listen, listen. Sorry, Vanessa. Yes. Re reports. Reports. Perfect. Um... The usual routine. Yes. Okay. Well, the good thing is that you're here in class right now. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Juan Carlos Peña, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good, teacher. That's excellent. Very so. Good. Tell me, how was your day? I, I, I was, I was um, better relaxed. Oh, that's good. Excellent. 
So not deep, not a difficult day at work. Yes, teacher. Great, excellent. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Um, so so. So so. So so, teacher. Hey, You're welcome. welcome. Thanks. Hilda, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How, How are, are you? I'm just fine. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I can, Thank you. I can tell you look very relaxed. Ah, uh, yes, it's mine. Because I did uh, one hour of exercise. Oh, really? One yes. Hour, one hour? One hour's exercise. Okay, listen to me. One hour of exercising. Okay, one hour in exercise. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, remember, hold on, give me a second. I got little slips of paper. Remember that of, what we know as of, is pronounced of. Oh. Of. Of, of. You pronounce it like it can be, okay? Okay, of. Of, of. So, one hour of exercising, that's nice. Yes, I try to um, start because uh, for quarantine time. Quarantine. Quarantine time, I, I did the, this motive. I, I was the, the motive. This motive. This motivator. This motivator. This motivator. Uh, but I, it's, it's, it's time to start, to start. Time to start again. Okay, that's cool. So you used to go to the gym? Uh, no, online. 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 Oh, that's nice. No, I mean before, so, before. Did you I, go to the gym? The gym and run in, in uh, a mountain. A mountain? Wow. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's uh, cross county running. Yes, running uh, asphalt. Oh, that's, that's nice. Cross all the all the Sunday. Every I, Sunday. Every Sunday, I did, I did ten kilometers. Ki kilometer. Kilometers. Kilometers. Yes. All the o sea, every Sunday, but. Right now, nothing. <laughs> okay, I understand. Only white TV. <laughs> okay. When you talk about running on the mountains, that's called cross country. Cross? Cross? Looking, county. Yeah, look in the chat. Cross county running. Okay? That's what the way you call it. Ah, okay. Thank okay. you, Hilda. Okay, thank you. Roxana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Um, I, uh, I had a busy day. Oh, I really? Work, yes. What did you do today? In the morning, uh, early, I took a shower, and then I cooked the breakfast. Okay. And um, after uh, I work in at mayoría no sé noon noon at noon I took my lunch and play a moment with my daughter. Okay, excellent. And we watched a uh, cartoon. Okay, we watched cartoon. Yes. Okay, so you are working from your house? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Roxana. Mr. Carlos Cruz, good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine, thanks. Tell me, Carlos, how was your day? Well, I, by the way, how are you doing with your health? You better? So, so. <laughs> so. Ahí how, seguimos. 
and how was your day? Okay, today I make it a set for a I, production. I, I make it. I made. I made a set for a production of photo, photographic. Okay, for a photographic production. Okay, I edit three videos of one hour each one. I edit two. Edit two. Edit. Edit. Edit two. Edit two. Three videos of one hour each one. Okay. I produce it a commercial for my job. I start to edit the commercial. Okay, so you had a lot of work today. Yes, I coordinate a produ the production of will of will we have to do on weekend. Okay. Who is your classmate? Who is your co-worker here in the group? Co-worker, I don't I don't know what is the meaning. Compañero de trabajo, you have a co-worker here in the group? I am with me. Oh yeah. Then Carlos is Vanessa's fault. Yes. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. <laughs> What I'm telling you is that you had a lot of work and that it is Vanessa's fault. Es culpa de Vanessa. Ah, no. Too much work. No se dio cuenta. Oh, she didn't even realize that. Bad. Okay, guys. Hello. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Vicky, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. How was your day? Um, easy days. Easy or busy? Easy, easy days. Okay, tell me why. Um, because I checked my aim, emails. I checked. I checked. Remember, my emails. remember when we have uh, the K at the end, the ED is pronounced as a T. Check is a regular verb. In past, we add ED. That ED mm -hmm. is pronounced as a T. Okay? I checked. Okay. I checked. Perfect. My emails. I, I organized it. I organized it, yes, perfect. Meetings. Okay. So you mm -hmm. had a, an interesting day. Yes. Great, excellent. Excellent, that's nice. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Okay, guys, do you remember yesterday we were working with simple past regular verbs? And we were, yesterday we were focused on the pronunciation of the ED. Okay? According to the platform, that step goes forward. Okay, goes, uh, I mean, we. We advance it because according to the platform, we were supposed to see first the structuring and then the pronunciation. But in my opinion, for this type of classes, uh, it is better if you knew already how to pronounce the ED. And now we are going to work with the structuring of sentences. Why? Because yesterday we were working just with the affirmative. And remember, the verb in simple past is used just for the affirmative form, okay? When we are speaking in any language, it could be either uh, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, English. When we are speaking, we can be saying something affirmative, negative, or interrogative. That's it. Okay, so in the simple past, yesterday we were working mostly with the affirmative form. Today we are going to work with the negative and also the interrogative form. And I have prepared a short presentation so you can check it out, okay? We will start making a small review. Let me see where it is, where it is, where it is. Right here, here, and let's go here. Hold on just a second. 
and it's here. Okie dokie. Beginners three. Oh, double N. I'm sorry. Simple past tense, part two. Okay. As I told you, we have positive or affirmative sentences. In these sentences, what we have is the subject, the main verb, the complement. The subject can either be a pronoun or a noun, okay? I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Or the name of the person, perhaps. Like I say, oh, Carlos, worked very hard today. Or I can say, uh, Vanessa worked very hard today. Okay? Now, remember, the main verb in simple past. That means that for regular verbs, we are talking about the ED at the end of the verb. So we have here, the subject, she, the main verb, worked. The complement, very hard today. You flunked the exam. You flunked the exam. Do you know what is flunk? No. Reprobar. No. To fail. Fallar. Reprobar. That's flunk. So you flunked the exam. Oops. Bad news. Here we are talking just about affirmative sentences. Okay? Now, before we go to the next image, I am going to divide you in pairs and you are going to share with your classmates. Do you remember you had a homework? You were supposed to bring uh, five activities you did today in simple past. Okay? ¿Se recuerdan que teníamos la tarea? Yes, I did. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to divide you right now and you're going to share your sentences and I'll be going from group to group. After the class finishes, I would like you to uh, perhaps in private send the sentences to me, okay? So I can check them. Please. Cuando la clase termine, me envían las oraciones para revisarlas. Please. And I'll, I'll chat. Okay. Yes, yes. You can send it personally if you want. Si quieren me las mandan en privado. If you want, you can send it to the group. Up to you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. A simple present. Past. Simple past. Oh. I have a question. Yes? Um, for example, uh, I, it's, for, it's for I did an hours of exercise online. Yes, just that remember the homework was with regular yes, verbs. Yes. Regular uh, verbs. I need to change <laughs> this this because uh, uh, no, no, it's, it's a irregular verb. Yes. Okay. And I told you, try to look for regular verbs. If you got irregular, it's okay, but irregular verbs are like uh, that's tomorrow's class. Okay? Teacher. Yes. For example, uh, I had a presentation about my teaching job. If you have it like that, don't change it. But the rest of the sentences with regular verbs. Si ya la tiene así, no la cambie. Pero las otras oraciones, eh, la idea es que la mayoría de las oraciones sean en, con verbos regulares, lo que para formar el pasado se les agrega ed. ¿Ok? ¿Se le agrega qué? ED. ¿Y cómo sería entonces esa? I have a presentation about no, my... it has to be another verb, another sentence. Tiene que ser otro verbo y otra oración. I Or feel... you can say, I present to... Y for example, at four o'clock, I give language therapy to a child to Canada. Okay, it's still irregular verbs. Me sigue trabajando con verbo irregular. I will pass by the groups and help you out. Voy a pasar por los grupos y le ayudo, Angélica. Ok? okay. No worry. Teacher. Yes. Eh, nosotros vamos a enviarle la, la tarea, el, el homework, 
que dejó ayer. Yes. Ah, ok. Get in the group. Okay, Angelica. Yesterday's class was focused just on regular verbs. La clase de ayer se enfocó solamente en los verbos regulares. Regular verbs uh -huh. are those that in English to form the simple past form. Los verbos regulares son aquellos que en inglés para formar el pasado simple add ed at the end of the, of the verb. Son los que le agregan la partícula ed al final del verbo. Play, uh -huh. played. Watch, watch. Dance, dance. Work, worked. ¿Ok? Y, 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 por, y en esa, ¿cómo sería entonces si yo tuve ahora? Porque yo puse las cinco actividades de lo que hice durante todo el día. Ok, sí. but you are, you are, you were supposed to look for verbs For regular verbs, se suponía que buscase verbos. Ah, supón, supón. Ah, okay. supón. But if you got them like that, no problem. Send them to me. Que si los tienen, no se preocupen. Envíenme las oraciones. Ok. Because we are going to use that for tomorrow also. Mañana lo vamos a usar también. So don't worry, send them to me. Envíenme las. Ok. And share them with Roxana right now. Y compártelas con Roxana. Ok. Ok. No lo digo muy correcto. Yo lo, lo, lo único que así he escuchado que lo dice. Uh -huh. Porque no tengo que pronunciar la verdad. ¿Which verb? ¿Cuál verbo? Check. Checked. Uh -huh. Checked. 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 Yes. Okay. Check. Hello, hello teacher. Hello teacher. Hello, hello. Tell me, tell me, Vanessa is laughing. Why? <laughs> que no sabemos qué vamos a hacer. Just tell your classmate your five sentences. Five ya sentences. Lo hicimos. Ya lo hicimos. Just hold them to each other. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool, because I'm going to ask you, Adonai, about Vanessa's activities. Really? Yes, when we come back to the main room. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> so, pay attention to what she says. Okay. <laughs> I repeat. Ah, <laughs> you see, you see. <laughs> okay, guys, you finish sharing the information? No. 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 Remember that when, the... when we come back to the main room, Hilda, I'm going to ask you about Carlos activity. Okay. No, yes, I, I, I ask it because um, I, right now I, Carlos I asked. I asked. I asked. I asked. Yes. Remember, after K, the sound is as a T. Okay. Después de la K, el sonido de la ED es como una T. Ask. Okay, I produce it. It's very difficult in, in the past in the English teacher. But don't worry because we just use the verb in past for the affirmative. You will see later. Ya va a ver que es fácil porque solo se usa para el afirmativo. For the rest, But, no problem. Uh, parenthesis, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I speak Spanish. When I visit the United States, it's the, it's the more diffi difficult for me. Is uh, That's normal. That's okay. normal. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, because the pronunciation, pronunciation. It's just a matter of practice. I acabo de mandar mi mi tarea en su WhatsApp, teacher. Perfect, no problem. Okay. 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 Well, I produced a commercial for my young teacher. Yes, Mister. Uh, Roxana is a question. Tell, Ask, question. tell me, Roxana, what's the question? Mm. Eh, la, la, la oración este I, I arrive at 6 a.m. to my work it's perfect it's, it's perfect, perfect. Ah, okay. okay in the okay. tree in one minute we go back oh we are oh. Very... hurry up hurry up yeah see very hurry 
Ok. <risa> Thank you, Tito. Thank you. Ok, Roxana, este, tres le he dicho, ¿verdad? Sí, tres. Oh. Casi no saca. <risa> bueno, aunque sea la, dígame la. Okay, let's see who's back. Vanessa is back. Angelica is back. Who else? Who else? Just give me a second. A second, please. I'm sorry. It's just that it is hot here today. So let's see. Vanessa, tell me, who did you work with? I work with Adonai. Tell me about Adonai, please. Um, he arrived to her office. To her? No. Ah, his, <laughs> to his. his. His office at 7 a.m. Okay, perfect. He cleaned his desk. Okay, right. Um, he brushed his teeth in the morning. He brushed. He brushed. Remember the he... sound as a T, el sonido como una T. Okay, he brushed. Okay. Perfect. What else? Um, he drove. Mm, uh, he, he drove. He drove. Ah, it's ir irregular. Yeah, but no, no problem, no problem, no problem. He, he drove uh, his car. Okay, excellent. Adonai, tell me about Vanessa. I want to know about her. Okay. Okay. Uh, Marina Marina say uh, she, brushed her, she brushed her teeth oh. in the morning. Okay, that's good. Um. In another is a regular verb and no problem. Say, Tell me the sentence. She she took or oh, and she say she take, but it's she took uh she took a shower in the morning. She took a shower in the morning. Oh that's good. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, only that I can I can complete that the five. Okay, perfect. No problem, no problem. Sylvia, please tell me about who were you working with. Thank you, Donai. Okay. I am work. Uh, I worked. Francisco. I worked with. I work with with Francisco. Okay, tell me about Francisco. I. No, 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 no me memorize. I guess it, no me memorize. You don't remember nothing. Um. Two. two okay, two. tell me, tell me, tell me what you got. Uh, Francisco. Drive a cars at uh, um, to work. A uh, work. Algo okay, así. Francisco drove. Ah, uh, Francisco drove, drove a car. Drove a cars to work. At, to work. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh, Excellent. Another one. Francisco. Francisco. Um, Ah, uh, 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 Francisco uh, study English. Uh, studied English. Uh, oh, uh, perfect. Study. Uh, <laughs> three, three hours. Oh, my um, gosh. Good. <laughs> Good. Yes. Thank you. I Excellent. Don't... <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. That's great. Francisco, tell me about... Sylvia, please. I want to know. Uh, hello, teacher. About three hours. I, I not remember. One hour. <laughs> oh, Sylvia. <laughs> no, okay. very good. Very good. Um, uh, maybe, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe in the meeting with Sylvia, I, I, I speak very. Uh, I, I, she, she arrived at work at 7 a.m. Okay. She uh, arrived she, to work. Okay, she arrived to work. No, no, no. At she arrived seven, at yes. 
a work at 7 a.m. Listen, listen, I'm sorry. Yes. She arrived to work at 7 a.m. Okay, repeat. She arrived to work at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Okay, at 7 a.m. Uh, she ate with her workers. Okay. Uh, and I don't remember, teacher. Okay. No problem, no problem. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Vicky, hello, Vicky. Tell me, who were you working with? With Juan Carlos. Tell me about Juan Carlos. What did he do? He worked today. He? He? he Juan no. Carlos worked? Ah, oh, perfect. Today. Juan Carlos worked today. Today. Excellent. Uh, Juan Carlos cooked breakfast. Oh, perfect. Um, Juan Carlos called his boss. Okay, great. And Juan Carlos was exercise today. Okay, Juan Carlos exercises. Ah, uh, exercises. Okay, today. great. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Juan Carlos, tell me about this. Mm -hmm. Here, teacher. Um, Vicky, she turned on the computer. Okay. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. She checked. Okay. She checked email. Okay. He organized, organized, a, a meter. organized, and she, she organized a meter, okay. and she put bread. Perfect. Excellent. With those are okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now let's see. Ilda, tell okay. me, please. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Yes, teacher. You're Tell welcome. Me. Yes? Tell me, who were you working with? Carlos Cruz. Tell me about Carlos. Uh, Carlos, uh, he is, he prepared, he prepared. Um, prepared? No, he edit. He edited? Edited commercial, uh, for commercial, uh, edit okay. video. Edit, edit video for commercial. Okay, remember it that edit, 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 and then I, uh, he prepared uh, another commercial for you, Joe. For my job? No, for he, yo, yo, his for job. His, yo, for his, his job. job. I only remember, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, just give me a second. Okay, let's see. Now, Carlos, please tell me. Okay, uh, Hilda worked a hard until 3 p.m. Okay. Uh, she met with her mother. She met. She met. She met. She met with her mother. Okay. And she drove her car for hours. Okay. She made dinner. Okay. Ah, she woke up at 4 a.m. Okay, great, excellent. Okay, now. Some of you are already using the verbs in the, the irregular verbs, and that's okay. Tomorrow we are going to be working with irregular verbs, and we are tomorrow is going to be mostly about asking and answering about past using regulars and irregular verbs. Right now we are going to go 
to the presentation again because I want to show you something. I know that there's a couple of you who didn't participate yet. I'm sorry, sé que hay un par que no me han participado, uno siento, but we need to move to the next activity, okay? And you are going to send me your sentences. So let's see. Let me share with you what we are going to work with right now. Okay, look. Let's see, we have here the, for the affirmative, the negative, and inter, the interrogative, this is easier. Why? Because we have the subject, the auxiliary, the main verb, the complement. Look, the auxiliary is in yellow. In the affirmative, there's no auxiliary, just subject, main verb, complement. In the negative, if you see, in la forma negativa, como podemos ver, we have the subject, the auxiliary did. The verb did works as an auxiliary for the simple past. Okay? Where does it go? Before not. Okay? Then we have the main verb. The main verb, when we have the auxiliary did, goes in this base form. And then we have the complement. Okay, I will uh, make it like easier for you. Para la forma negativa tenemos sujeto auxiliar did, el verbo principal en su forma simple, en su forma base y el complemento. El auxiliar did, ¿qué significa? Nothing, nada. But it helps us, nos ayuda. What? To understand that the main verb is in past. Automáticamente nos dice a nosotros que el verbo principal está en pasado. Ok. Now, so that's why we have here, she did not dance with me. We did not work yesterday. If you see, si nos fijamos, in the affirmative we use the verb in past. But in the negative, the verb goes in the base form. El verbo está en su forma simple, base, present. Ok. Now, for the interrogative, I told you the auxiliary was in yellow. For the interrogative, it changes. Para la forma interrogativa cambia. We have did, the auxiliary, tenemos el auxiliar did, at the beginning. Then we have the, the subject. That means that the subject and the auxiliary switch places. The verb is still in its base form. Look, I have here an irregular verb. Aquí tengo un verbo irregular. And it happens the same. So the rules apply for all of them. Esta regla aplica para todos ellos. Okay? Did you go to London? Did they work at home? Any question up to here? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? The negative, the negative sentence, the verb regular and irregular is not is always in present always in present it doesn't matter no importa si es regular o irregular since the moment you have the auxiliary deal the verb goes in present ok no cambia desde el momento que tiene el auxiliar did el verbo siempre va en presente no importa si es regular o irregular any other question guys Teacher, yes. o sea que no va a cambiar cuando, sería más que todo, siempre como salen los casos, por decirle casos especiales, que es en she y en we, que no, siempre va a Nothing, nothing, ni siquiera entonces. Vea, no, tengo... lo que yo le quiero decir que acá en esto siempre quedaría igual el verbo, como ustedes saben. Yes. Normal, y solo serían los demás que no se utilizaría el did, sino que solamente ya le pondría... El, el did se usa... No se usa solo para el afirmativo. You can check it like this. Véalo en horizontal. Para el afirmativo no hay did, no hay auxiliar. Ah, ok. Como so, no hay auxiliar, the main verb in past. El verbo principal en pasado. Look at negative. Nuevamente en horizontal. Como hay auxiliar, main verb in present. Ah, ok. okay. Look at the interrogative. Thank you. I auxiliar the main verb in present. Okay? Is it clear now? Ahora sí. Ahora sí. 
Okay, perfect, excellent. Any other question, please? ¿Algo otra preguntita? No? Okay, perfect. I will change screen. Voy a cambiar pantalla. Okay. So, the auxiliary is conjugated in the past simple, invariable. Did. El auxiliar es el que va en pasado. El auxiliar. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo do, do you remember that in present we use the auxiliary do? Like, uh, do you work in a supermarket? Yes, I do. No, I don't. ¿Se recuerdan que para el presente usamos el do? Ok, the verb do. The past form of the verb do is did. La forma pasada del do es did. Entonces, is the auxiliary the one who changes into the past? Ok. The main verb, when we have the auxiliary, the main verb is in base form. Ok. Always. For negative sentences, we insert not between the auxiliary verb and the main verb all the time. Siempre, toda la vida en las negativas, el not va entre el auxiliar y el verbo principal. For question sentences, we change the subject and the auxiliary verb. Okay? For questions, remember that in a negative, I did not study for the exam. Question. Did I study for the exam? The subject and the auxiliary are the ones who switch places. Okay? Any question up to here? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? No teacher for no. the moment. Okay. Remember, for that type of the presentation, the explanation, you can screenshot. Si quieren copiarla, pueden tomar la screenshot. And you can check it out later. Y la pueden revisar luego. Okay? So, let's see. Then we are going to advance. Let's go back to the presentation. Okay. Now, guys, uh, working in the breakout room, share with your classmates two activities you did today and two you did not do today, okay? What are you going to do? It is very simple. You are going to ask your classmate two questions. The first question that you are going to ask your classmate is, what did you do today? Simple. What did you do today? Check it out in the chat. You have it there. And the second question is, what did you not do today? You got the two questions in the chat. ¿Qué le van a estar preguntando a su compañero? ¿Qué hizo y qué no hizo? Two. Two answers, okay? Two answers for the affirmative question and two answers for the negative question. What, how are you going to answer? Like this, let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Adonai. Hello, Adonai. Yes, teacher. Yes, just, teacher. Just one sentence. Please tell me, Adonai, what did you do today? Okay. Um... I tested a new cell phone of my company. Perfect. Tell me, tell me one thing that you did not do today. Uh, I did not uh, exercise today. Okay, perfect. You see, as simple as that. Como vieron el ejemplo, así es simple. Okay. Teacher, repeat the question in negative. You have it in the chat. Se las he puesto en el chat. No, I no veo. I know. In negative, okay. what did you not do today? Okay, guys, you are going to work in groups right now. Jump in. 
Let's do it. I like the that. It's the best the teacher. The teacher is very oh, really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. I know. I'm not sure about that. No. I have a thing. Good teacher. Is you uh, are a good teacher. Oh, thank yeah. you. No, you are the good students. That's why it's easy. Yes. Es fácil porque ustedes son buenos estudiantes. If not, I will be like crazy right now. So, no, but just one person. Patient. And, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. in class, just in class. <laughs> Only. <laughs> yeah, the rest, of, the rest of the day, I'm angry. Oh, my really? God. Really? I don't kidding. believe I'm that. Kidding. I don't believe that. <laughs> okay. Keep on working. I'll be back. No questions? No, teacher. Oh, oh one question. And the, and the, the rest uh, question is about the use the deal. Okay. The answer? Is this only a simple pass? Uh, 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 the yes, answer. When somebody asks you in simple pass, you answer in simple pass. Cuando alguien le pregunta en pasado simple, usted contesta en pasado simple. But in the in, in this case, what did you do today? ¿Qué hizo hoy? You uh, answer in only, pass. Uh, only simple pass. Yes. Okay. Okay. Only is my question. Perfect. Okay, in other question, what did you what did you not today? Ah today I not I yes Charles no questions? Yes no okay no it's finished in one minute we go back okay okay, okay. okay. Uh, after um, the lunch, I brushed eight. my eight teeth. Eight lunch. Eight. After eight. Eight. trastos. Uh, the dishes, I did the dishes. I did the dishes. <laughs> I did. I, I, I did. I did not the do, dishes. I did not do. I, I did, did not do do dishes. Okay. 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 I will explain something to you guys. Le voy a explicar algo. Lo que sucede es que el verbo do sigue siendo el verbo hacer. Entonces, en este caso, cuando usted dice I did the dishes, está diciendo la de los trastos. Pero cuando mm -hmm. lo hace negativo, usted necesita el auxiliar. Entonces, necesita el did como auxiliar. Entonces, mm -hmm. Eh, y dijimos que el auxiliar no significa nada. Entonces, el verbo principal, ¿qué le pasó? Ah, el verbo principal hay que expresarlo en su forma presente. I did not do. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Dice, la otra respuesta que me dio fue de... Yo le, uh, she, eh, sería, she did cook. ¿Así está bien o tendríamos que no, ponerle... She, she cook. Did do. She cook, nada más. Did, El deal lo utilizará solo para negativo y para pregunta. Ah, ok. okay. Entonces sería, she cooked. She cooked. She cooked. She cooked. Mm -hmm. okay. ok, in 30 seconds we go back. I'm sorry that I got stuck. Let's see, let's see, why is my screen like that? Okay, like this. Now, let's see. Uh, Donai, tell me, well, no, you did tell me already, don't worry. Uh, Ilda, what did you do today? You, uh, me, or Adonai? You, you, you. I, 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 I worked okay. until, until 3 p.m. Okay, very late. Yes, very late. Uh, the, pres the presencial um, okay. work. 
and then a home office is my job is is very absorbent okay <laughs> i can see i can see tell me something that you did not do today okay i i did not prepare uh, for lunch lunch for my family okay i did not prepare lunch for my family i Repeat, please. I, I did not prepare lunch for my family. I did not to prepare lunch for my family. Okay, perfect. Because Thank all, oh, oh, yes. uh, every day, I prepare for lunch for my family. And, but to, and to, today, today you no, didn't. No, I didn't. That's yes. bad. That's bad. <laughs> Thank you, Hilda. Angelica, tell me one thing that you did today. Hello, teacher. I I don't remember. I what? You don't remember what you did today? I, ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, I cook. Okay. Cook. I cook. My breakfast. My breakfast. Okay. I read uh, the book. Okay, listen. The verb read in a, in present and in past, that's an irregular read. verb. El verbo leer es un verbo irregular. Yes. It's, you write it the same in in present than in past. Lo escribo igualito en presente y en pasado. Read. Yeah. But you pronounce it in past, read. Okay. Like the color. Okay. I read a book. Así como que estuviera diciendo el color. Yes, I read a book. I read a book, okay. Thank you very much, Angélica. Carlos Cruz. Hello, teacher. Okay, Carlos, you told me already many things that you did. Tell me one thing that you did not do today. I didn't relax today. Okay, somebody is sharing a screen. Mm, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. So, Carlos, you didn't relax today. Yes. I oh, said wait to nine o'clock. Okay, yeah. That's Vanessa's fault. Es culpa de Vanessa. That you yes. are stressed. Yeah, I know. I, I know. just, I just think this. Okay. Talk, tomorrow, I will talk to human resource. To human resource. To human resource. Perfect. Thank you very much, Carlos. Vanessa, okay. tell me something that you did not do today. Hello? Tell me something uh, that you did not do today. Uh, me? Um, yes. I did not. Okay. I'm sorry, Vanessa. Yes. When we are speaking, did not, we pronounce it as didn't. Didn't. Ah, okay. So you say, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do dishes. You didn't do the dishes. Oh, come on, ladies. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't Il like. Hilda didn't cook. Vanessa <laughs> didn't do the dishes. My gosh. I'm afraid of go visiting you. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. Excellent. Okay. So let's see, Sylvia. Tell me something that you did not do. Uh, uh, um, I, uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Uh, lo que no hice, me está diciendo. Yes, exactly. I didn't sleep. Es, sleeping. Sleep, you didn't sleep. sleep. I didn't sleep. Um, uh, a morning. In the uh, morning. ¿Cómo se dice toda la mañana? All morning. All morning. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys, before we continue, before we continue, because we just have a few minutes, uh, homework for tomorrow. Let me show you what's the homework for tomorrow, guys. Hold on just a second. Okay, the homework for tomorrow is here. Homework. 
turn the sentences you brought as a homework into negative and interrogative. Usted me trajo cinco oraciones como tarea. For tomorrow, you need to make them negative and interrogative, the same sentences. So today you brought five, for tomorrow there's ten. Okay? So you get the homework. Today you brought five sentences. Ustedes hoy me trajeron cinco oraciones. Those same five sentences, esas mismas. You don't need to do no more. Just make them into negative or interrogative. Okay? So that means that uh, you, for tomorrow, you need to do 10 more sentences. At the end, you will have 15 sentences. The affirmatives that you did today, the negatives, and the interrogatives. Okay? To prepare that, remember the little square I sent you, I showed you. Okay? Para prepararla, recuerden salir el pequeño recuadro que les mostré. Of the structure. Okay? Teacher, a question. For tomorrow, okay. 10 sentences. Las cinco que me trajo ahora como tarea, conviértalas a negativas y luego las convierte en preguntas. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any question about the homework? ¿Algo otra pregunta? No? Teacher. Yes? Teacher, can you put uh, the slide, uh, the structure? Oh, the structure. Okay, we just have two minutes, so we're going to do it fast. Solo tenemos dos minutos, así que lo vamos a hacer rápido. So if you want, you can take a picture or whatever you need. Yes, yes. Si quieren, yes. le toman una foto, lo que sea que necesiten, okay? Let me see, and let's go, oh, oh, this one. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Nobody else? Alguien más? No? Solo ese cuadro era, teacher. As a guide, yes, this one can help you. Como guía, este les sirve. Okay. Remember to work it horizontal. Es horizontal como lo trabajamos. Okay. Perfect. So, let's see, let's see. Francisco, Francisco's been quiet today. Tell me, Francisco, something that you did not do today. I didn't exercise. I didn't write my report. Oh, oh you didn't write your report. You're in problem. Oh, yes, tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Roxana, okay, okay. tell me something you did not do today. I didn't work in the garden. You didn't work in what? Yeah. In the garden. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Because Vicky is raising her hand. Vicky, tell me, please. Tell me one thing you didn't do today. I didn't eat fruit. You didn't eat fruit? Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. You eat fruit for your health. Yes. Guys, <laughs> believe it or not, time's over. So, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Espero hayan tenido you, teacher. a good class. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. See you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.